Last time on the group Hardcore Iron Man series, the farmers got their very first armadillo skirt from a minion, nonetheless. And the very next day, we got armadillo skirt number two. I then got the thieving pet at a lowly level 62 thieving, and I completed the Ardune, the Fremnik, and the Western Province Hard Diaries. Okay, 169 hellhounds. Uh, luckily, when I did the Western Province Diaries, I banked about 100 raw chompies, so I've got plenty of wild pie supplies. That sounds kind of cool, wild pie supplies. Anyway, more server this time. Damn it! Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. So that almost would have been a bait because I got the Cerberus Master for 250 kill count, but I also got a crystal, so it wasn't bait. I guess that works. Is that Pegasian number four for us as a team? I think it is. Ugh, that's absolutely not what I wanted to see, but there's uh, Pegasian crystals technically done for the team at uh, exactly 250 KC. How long will it be until we have four pairs of Ranger Boots in total? We probably never will, to be fair. We probably never will. Okay, here's the very last Cerberus kill of the task. Just go ahead and give me a Primordial for the road and we'll be happy. Don't cuck me, Arclight. Thank you! Ah, uh, yes, the Unholy Symbol. So there's a task of 169. Cerberus completed... We got the, uh, the Pegasian Crystal, which, you know, we got four out of four Pegasians now, which is good. Not what I wanted, but, uh, on to the next one, I guess. Total kill count's 355. Okay, just did an elite clue from Cerberus. We've got, uh, nothing really of note other than the master clue. Let's see what the first step of that is. Uh, maybe? Well, since I got that master clue earlier that requires me to wear a boater, and we've got a bunch of unused Pegasian crystals, I figured I'd send a few, uh, eclectics. I got seven medium caskets from, I think, like, 130 eclectics, so... Not bad, actually. Uh, let's see what we get. Well, that's not what I wanted. Okay, there's our boater taken care of. Sick. Now we just worry about ranger boots, basically. Or holy sandals would be kind of nice, too, to get at least, uh, one pair, but... Nothing. 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 And... Okay, so, literally, the boater was the only unique I got out of all of those. Which, I mean, is good. That's, that's what we're here for, I guess. Okay, so I'm on step number three of the Master Clue, and we're currently brick-walled, but it doesn't seem all that out of the question. To cremate a set of fire remains, I need magic pyre logs. Now, to burn magic pyre logs, you need 80 fire making. I'm at 70 right now. That's not out of the question. I could go do some winter, Todd. All right, there's level 75. Dumpy, dumpy. Shh, shh, shh. There's level 75 fire making. Sorry, my dog is growling. Uh, that's a nice little milestone. Now, I could hypothetically boost to 80 from here. But for the sake of making it easier, I think I'm going to get up to 76 real quick, just so I can uh, get a plus 4 rather than a plus 5. Plus 1, we're trending in the right direction. Oh, we got the plus 5. Okay, so pyre logs down, fire remains down, light it up. And there we go, there's the master clue step completed. Let's see if we can, well, do the rest of it. Okay. So, this is disappointing because I got my master clue all the way to step number 8. And now I get the Sherlock step, bind a blood rune at the blood altar. Here's the thing, though. I'm already 65 rune crafting, for one. Guardians of the Rift is fun. And, if I really want to get it done, remember that during leagues, I banked 60,000 day alt essence. So, you know, I probably should just get it done anyway. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not gonna drop it. I think we just get 77 rune crafting, or at least 72 if I want to just get the step done in a hurry. Ah, uh, yes. Catalytic Talisman number two. <laughs> so, so far I've got 54 loots, or 54 games, and I've had two Catalytic Talismans. Yeah, the, the Cat Ears Talisman. Yay. 
Uh, alright, so I'm pretty sure I should be good to buy my hat now. Yeah, I got some more pearls with that. I definitely have enough. Uh, let's search for abyssal pearls. Oh yeah, we got a total of 446 right now. The hat is the most expensive, and that costs 400. When I buy skilling outfits, I always buy the most expensive one first. I think it's the best idea mentally. So, there we go. Here's our first piece of the outfit done. Okay, three more. Oh, are you kidding me? That's Catalytic Talisman number three. <laughs> it's the only uniques I've had, and it's three of the same thing. That's highly disappointing. I am actually blind. I didn't even notice. Uh, yeah, there it is. There is level 72 rune crafting. You can see it in the chat box. I'll uh, finish up this game, and then we go get some spices for spicy stews. Oh, dude, I haven't been to this true blood altar yet. This looks fucking cool. You need actual rune essence here? Man. God damn it. Alright, last one. Oh, I got it. Last. That's so clutch! Literally the last spice of my inventory and we got it. And the boost only lasted for like three seconds. Holy shit, that's clutch. Oh, okay, so that's actually a double whammy. First of all, we did the master clue step. And that was also an elite Koren task as well. Alright, this should be the casket, so let's go hand this in. Okay, we got the casket, and we grinded out our rune crafting for was it worth? Ooh, it's a mimic. Even more fun. Nice and smooth kill. That is my very first mimic kill. 32 seconds. Whoa, what a gamer. Uh, I better bank, otherwise I'm going to have to drop some of this food, which I don't want to do. Okay, the very first Mimic of the group, Iron Man, what do we get? Alright. <laughs> That's a little underwhelming, isn't it? So I'm doing something I've never had to do before. My Elite Clue requires me to fix a lamp in Dorgish Khan. Now, I need to get a Light Orb, which normally requires 87 crafting, but apparently you can get a Light Orb from this chest... So, I'm just gonna hop and search this until I get one. Right, so I think that's a full-blown light orb, right? Yeah, yep, this is a light orb with the, the cave goblin wire already inside it. Now I just gotta find the thing to repair, nice. Right, I hope that fixing this doesn't have a crafting requirement. Oh, nice. Well, cool, there you go. If you ever need... To do this elite clue step and you don't have 87 crafting to make a light orb, there's your solution. Oh, and I guess if I'm showing you a way to do that clue step, it's probably good to tell you what chest you have to search. Uh, it's all the way upstairs in uh, Old Dak's house. So all the way in the northwestern corner, you got Old Dak. Uh, go up the stairs, go up the ladder, and then it's this chest right here. Apparently it has to specifically be this chest to get the light orb, I guess. Oh! A dragon cane? Dude, that's gonna be some big fashion scape. What the hell? I don't even think I have that on Iron Mammal. That's sweet. So that's all the individual clips that I've got for myself, but I've got some footage to show you of Roydy doing the Corrupted Gauntlet. So my man's did a lot of Corrupted Gauntlet on his previous hardcore accounts, so you know, he, he has a lot of experience with it. I think he's, you know, on one of his accounts did like over a thousand CG. Obviously he never died, so it's not surprising that he has now started to do it on his farmer's account as well. Ugh. Number 41. <gasps> Bro! I just got that. I got it. 41. 41 KC. I don't even have any armor. That's literally my first unique. <laughs> I'm getting out of here, man. I'm getting out of here for today. So, yeah. 41 KC. He got an enhanced weapon seed, which means he can turn it into a bow of Ferdinand. Now, I think, and this is what makes it extra cool. Of course, he can use it, you know, for raids and whatnot, 
But I think at some point in the future, Jagex is planning on making a change so that Group Iron Men can trade a corrupted Bofa. Don't quote me on that, but I swear I, I remember that being mentioned. So if that actually happens, I mean, this is huge. One Bofa could literally be passed around between the four of us, so massive, massive drop from Roydy right there. That's a huge possibility in the future. Man, I always change my tick cycle and lose a tick to accommodate foe's mistakes. But does he return the favor? I didn't make any mistakes. I actually did pause immediately when we started. And then you didn't click. And then you put yourself back on tick. So I, I figured we were on tick together. Too. I accommodated you thrice last week. However, here's the thing though. When you, when you corrected it at the beginning after my accommodation, I then just figured that you had it, so I stopped looking. They're falling apart over there, East Gang for the win, let's go! They're fighting They're within, from... let's go! Oh, no! Oh, you guys are squabbling, we won. <laughs> I have a question, it's open, but I know, Roydy, you and I have discussed Lord of the Rings a lot, so I'm gonna pass one on to you, because I think you'll like it. What is a more thrilling battle scene? Rohan's charge of Minas Tirith, or... The Battle of Helm's Deep. I like uh, Helm's Deep the most. I agreed. I went with Helm's Deep. I think it's really sick when Luke goes into the Death Star. <laughs> I'm a uh, Minas Tirith guy myself. I it's respect. It's it's hard to choose. It really is. I think the difference is for me is that in Helm's Deep. When the Rohirrim and the cavalry arrived, they kind of knew that it would turn the tides in their favor. Whereas at Minas Tirith, it was kind of a charge towards what would probably be their death, but did not end up being. Yeah, yeah, they just sent it anyway. Yeah, it, 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 they're both really great. Maybe it wasn't really about destroying the One Ring, but it was about the friends they made along the way. <laughs> How did I know that you were going to say that? I mean, technically it is about that. <laughs> if you look into like the moral of the story. I feel like... I'm not even going to say he's underappreciated, because I think most people recognize this, but Sam has got to be the MVP. Frodo's... He's actually the hero of the story. He really is. Although he's not the main protagonist, he is the hero. That's a different role. Frodo's dumbass is like, oh, I need the ring. Uh, and Sam's like, oh my god, fine. I'll do it. I got you. You ate some bread. Go home. Yeah. <laughs> Sam's a hungry boy. Come on. In, like, fourth or fifth grade, we had an extended series of field trips to a local farm where they, like, explained a lot of common farming practices, including but not limited to, like, the whole cow slaughter process and how you, like, lead them out to pasture before they get sent to slaughter and all that. And then the cows they have on the farm at the time, everybody got to, like, adopt an animal. I got piglets, which were very cute. <laughs> but people picked cows and stuff. And then they just full stop start enacting this cow slaughter process. And everyone's like, are you going to slaughter these cows? <laughs> like, no, not these ones. Okay, so, so, so what's the whole bring them out to pasture thing? Uh, just give them a place to roam, I think, and maybe muscle up a bit. I'm not really sure. I'm not a farmer. Only in game. <laughs> Did you Probably. get to milk the cows? Uh, actually, yes, I think. I was going to say, like, I... that has to be a part of this kind of trip. I have milked a cow as well. It's an exhilarating process. We're talking about the udders. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Uh. Let me. S oh jeez. I'll smash the one and get the one out of the way. It'll be fine. Oh dear. What oh, the hell dear. thing was that, bro? What? Why is it on you? What the hell is this? <laughs> Bruh. Oh, well, crikey. Him. Oh, crikey. Why you more? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what I is happening? Even... I wasn't mechanically right. What the hell is that? Okay, okay, okay. Stop majoring it. Stop majoring it. Oh, no. I'm not so distracted by that crap. I <laughs> the... Hardcore Iron Man release day because you would hear about the most ridiculous deaths out there. 
like just people dying ways that you never assumed someone would die right i mean like we, we kind of expected the jailer you know that the jail guards that drainer and stuff like that yeah and you know the moss giant during waterfall but hearing someone die to fixing the dwarf cannon fence was never something i expected <laughs> yeah now the best one though was uh the guy who just started oh, out oh, he got no. the beekeeper random event oh no <laughs> Like you couldn't even complete it properly. Oh really? Oh that's even yeah, so worse though. Like it looked like he actually had it right or whatever, but he still gets teleported. That's oh terrible. that's scuffed. <laughs> Just for, for the way I don't know, because there, there's probably a lot of people that weren't here in 2017 when this happened. He got this random event. He fails it. He gets randomly teleported somewhere in the game. It puts him at the coal trucks where the where the coal uh mining area is, but there's a bat there right on top of where he uh spawns. He's got 10 HP, and if you fail the random event, it's, it saps all of your run energy. So he couldn't run away from this bat that, like, basically three hit him for his hardcore status. <laughs> that is just... Just, just hilarious. We call that bad just, RNG. Did you guys say, when it came to old school split screen, did you say uh, screen looker or screen peeker? I'm more of a peeker, I'd say. Screen Definitely watcher. peek. I always said look. Uh, we said watch. I've actually never heard anything other than screen peeking. And it was always on either GoldenEye or Halo 2 for us. Is a skeleton, and he's bigger than us. Like, what does that look for? Looks like, look like with the flesh on it. Uh, Hail John. Hey, he's it's a like big the, boy. Uh, dude outside the Warriors Guild. Cornbread diet. <laughs> Isn't it corn fed, not cornbread? <laughs> Is cornbread a type of corn meal that you feed with? Indeed it is, my man. Certified fact. The farmers are out there hand feeding their cattle cornbread muffins. And also I had cornbread muffins today, so, you know, cornbread fed. No, no, no. <laughs> you baited me. Which is uh. game, that was. <laughs> one tick as well. The worst one. Alright, I got nothing out of that either. Hey. Grats. Neat O. Oh, nice. I am not far behind you actually, about 200k myself. You know what? You said you have a thing and the, the gears started turning. I, I have a question. You know the thing where like the mom and the dad do the baby class and they like learn about do you do that before or after the baby's born? You um, know what I'm talking about? B before. Oh, okay. I guess that does make sense, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. Generally want to do that before you have a newborn. <laughs> right, you got to know what's, what's happening before you do it, right? <laughs> so this particular raid session, we were doing trios as Curtis was gone due to the fact that well, he just got married, so a massive congratulations to Curtis on him getting married. That's honestly so cool. Paul's having a kid and Curtis is married. We all grow up so fast. Anyway, sorry, back on, back to the point. Uh, we are doing some trio raids, and we decided we wanted to try out running the Mage Claw as a team. Now, if you have experience doing solo raids, you know that running the, the Mage Claw really isn't all that difficult, and all three of us have done it quite a bit, so we were like... You know, we could take no damage at all, and we could just simultaneously act like we're soloing, but in a trio. And I gotta say, it looks really, really cool, and it was pretty easy, so I think we're gonna continue to do, to do this from now on. I must say, it's really inconsiderate of Curtis not joining in on the farmer's raid today, just because he got married. No, man, how arrogant. Honestly, if we... he had it his way, he'd probably be here, man. <laughs> Maybe. Denise told me to kick him from the group last night because he was playing. <laughs> He's a dedicated man. I was saying that if anyone was likely to be AFKing fishing on mobile, it would be him during his wedding. <laughs> Definitely. If you die to Ice Demon, we'll tell everybody it's Muta and then delete the bud. Thanks, dude. <laughs> you got chomped by Muta Dow. It's like if I ever die while bench pressing. Don't call an ambulance. Put on a couple more plates, then call an ambulance. <laughs> Here's a fun one. Y'all ever walk into your parents? Thank God I never did. That sounds nope. like some nightmare fuel. 
Nope. Very, very happy to say no to that one. <laughs> Although I will say, I hate to add to this, but I think I, I... This was a very long time ago, and so memory could be hazy, but I recall I had to have been quite young. I mean, I'm going to guess like six or seven or something like that. And, and if my memory serves me, I, I remember having a bad dream, and I got scared. And so I went to my, my parents' bed, but I didn't do the classic kid move where they, like, jump in the middle of the two parents. I think I just laid, like, on the side of their bed, very quietly. And then I fell asleep, and I'm pretty sure I woke up to some noises and some ruffling. And I just very quietly rolled out of the bed and scurried away and went back to my own bed. But this was a very long time ago, and so I don't know if my memory serves me the best. But, uh, that's, I guess, you know, that actually may be worse than walking in. I don't know, though. I, <laughs> I don't know. I have no words. <laughs> yeah, it, it is what it is. Yeah, my streaming wardrobe has to be, like, the most boring thing in the world. Because it's, like, the same... 20 shirts that I just rotate through. Are either of you like me in that you have a whole bunch of shirts, but you really only wear like a select few of them. them? Yeah, yeah. A lot of the other ones just sit in the closet forever. Yeah, yep. Well, I hate to upload a video with all this raids footage and no actual raids drops, but sadly the farmers are a little bit dry right now. I think we're a little bit over 20 team raids dry with no purples, which by all means is not terrible, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I think I went through about 15 hours of footage on this video, so hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Uh, I had a pretty successful Cerberus task, got a good bit of skilling done in pursuit of that Master Clue Scroll, and Roidy got that Bow of Ferdin, which is really, really nice. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, feel free to leave it a like. And I will see you all soon.